Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the a Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we'll be looking at styles. More specifically we're going to be looking at how to download styles from the internet and apply them to your own images and as well how to edit them and personalize them so that you can use them on your own photos. Let's crack on. We already discussed the styles panel. In the light like table video you can always refer to that one if you want and here you can see that I don't have any styles saved already now dark table styles provide a quite a useful entry point for the beginners among us and that's because we you can use the styles panel to import styles created by other users there is a very handy website called DT styles where you can find a list of styles created by uh, professionals and other amateurs with examples and download it from there so let's go there now and see how it works there you go dtstyle.net it has four example images on top you can upload your own style for other people to use you can download all of them in one go and you can change the sort order by name, popularity, date, or author, and of course you can have it in descending or ascending order. Now I highly recommend against pressing the download all button. I did not count the number of uh, styles, but as you can see here, it's quite a lot, and that can become quickly confusing. What I'd recommend is to go through the list and pick a few that you like. And then see how these how you can use these ones that you like on your own images afterwards you can learn from these styles what they've used the modules the settings and you can adapt them to your own style if you want to now let's download the style and see how it works which one you can pick one at random Well, one where you can see the changes in the photo. So, click on it. You get some information, description, and if you click on the name here, you can download it. I'm just going to save the file. Now we'll go back to dark table and we'll press the import button in the styles panel and since I know we've put it in downloads go to downloads and I can see it here press open there you go we have it here click an image press on it then apply you can see the, the style is applied to the image you can select multiple images and do the same. And it will be applied to all the images. Now, let's double click on one and open it in dark room. And then we'll go and open history. And as you can see here, all of the modifications that were applied as part of that style, you can see in the history. Of course, including the default ones that are applied to all images anyway. Now suppose we want to put our own personal touch on this style by, for instance, increasing the sharpen. You can click here to see the list of active modules, go into the sharpen module and increase the amount to one. I'm not particularly saying that this fits the image, but it's just, again, for demonstration purposes. We can as well decrease the local contrast. Detail is 200, I'll put it back to 100. And that's it. So now if we go back to light table, 
the history of this uh, image has been saved it is automatically saved and now we can save it as a style by pressing create and I'll call it I'll leave everything in there and I'll call it retro oops, retro underscore personal and you can put in whatever description you want and say save and now we've got a modified version of that retro style that we downloaded that we can apply to all our images the duplicate create duplicate checkbox here is helpful if you want to apply a um, style to a duplicate of an image and leave the original untouched so if I press apply now you'll see it will create a different image now let's edit this image again and I'm going to play around with the color balance and just change the hue of the shadows again not that I think that this is quite nice but just to illustrate it go back to light table and then I can press the edit and I can include the color balance in it that I just added and save it as you can see now if I hover over the retro person the color balance is on as well and I can apply it on another image and this image will have the color balance the horrible green color balance that I just created we can delete this one and we can select these and press the history stack and discard history you can delete any of the styles that you don't need anymore by pressing the remove yes and you can export a style if you want to upload it to that website and let other people use it as well there you go here you have a easy way of uh, downloading and applying styles from dtstyles.net I'd be careful though uh, if you want to learn how to actually edit your own photos it's probably better to not rely on downloaded styles too much if you're happy with one style and you just want to apply it and get get it over with and have a, an image ready for publication or at least for sharing online as quickly as possible well have at it but if you want to learn how to edit your photos and how to use darkroom I recommend that you do not rely on them too much by all means download a few that you like and check what's in them and try to learn from them if you want but do not rely on them very 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 much S develop your own style develop your develop the images the way you would love like to see them and have other people copy your own style that's it for this time I hope that you found it enjoyable and useful if you have any suggestions or corrections or requests please leave them in the comments below well and until next time see you then bye bye